Welcome everyone to CW Live. I'm Keila Flores, Associate Editor at IABC. Today I'll be talking with Jeff Zwire. Jeff is a strategic communications leader and consultant helping organizations navigate change, implement leading edge communication technologies, connect with their employees, and get the most strategic value from their communication functions. In November, he will share his insights with IABC in the form of a workshop titled A Practical Approach to Automating Corporate Communications. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Akila. Uh, so we can get started here. Uh, our first question is, how do you feel the digital age has affected the way in which we work, work as communicators? Well, digital tools and the digital age in general, of course, have been absolutely disruptive and transformative to our field. It's given us an incredible opportunity to connect in new and exciting ways, and it's given us more information everywhere. And that's created a lot of challenges for us. It's added some simplicity in some ways that we do things and made things a lot more cost effective and, and time uh, efficient, but it's also created a lot of complexity and given us a lot more choices and a lot more avenues to chase down to figure out what the best strategy is for reaching the people we want to reach. Great, thank you. Um, and the second question, do you think employee efficiency is directly related to the rise of new technologies? I think yes and no. Uh, I don't think there's a direct connection between employee efficiency and the rise of new technologies because on the one hand, while technology has let us do a lot of things faster, we also discover that technology also lets us create workflows that duplicate bad processes. So we just get the same bad results only faster and cheaper. Uh, it isn't until we really get into the opportunity to discover how to use these new technologies as they emerge to create completely new workflows and new ways of doing things that we really discover the efficiencies. Uh, the first generation of any computing process, and you can look to this like the desktop computer operating systems, tend to take the metaphor of our old process, our old way of doing things. So the first Macintosh and Windows computers used the desktop and documents and files and folders and paper as their metaphor for things. And when we see enterprise computing technologies roll out, a lot of times we see in an SAP or a Workday or something like that, that the first thing that companies do is start to duplicate the same process they had when they were doing things manually. So we don't get that one-to-one -one just because you add technology to the recipe, suddenly everything is faster, better, and cheaper. We have to really think about what is the right process for doing things, what are the advantages and the opportunities that we get with the tools that we're using, and then restructure the work that we do to embrace what those technologies are capable of bringing forward and help us do things not only just faster, but in a more effective way. And that's a lot about what strategic content development in my workshop is about. Great, thank you. Um, and what are some of the best practices for developing a strategic content development plan? The key thing that I talk about in strategic content development is really understanding three important things. First of all, knowing your environment. What are the tools and technologies that you have available? Like we're talking about in terms of whether technologies make employees automatically more efficient, you need to have an understanding of what tools are at your employees' disposal. Are they using video? Are they using mobile? Is the internet actually being leveraged or is it something that's more of a, a content and file folder system? Uh, then after that, you need to know your audience. What are their consumption preferences? And these are kinds of things that we see in just good strategic communication practice overall, knowing how to reach the particular people you're trying to reach, whether they're inside or outside your organization, know what kinds of things they want, knowing what kinds of tools they have at their disposal, and knowing realistically what they actually do and use. And finally, the main best practice I talk about is taking an omni-channel approach and thinking, in strategic content development, the key word is the content. It's not about the channel, but it's about are you creating rich content that can be repurposed, that can be dis, uh, disentangled from a particular tool or platform and be used in a number of different avenues to reach a number of different people. So we want to have that really approach to understanding how well your organization can deploy technologies that can help you reach people what the real consumption habits are of the people in your organization, and then finally, being able to create compelling content that can be used across any channel and scale your particular content development effort to fit the environment and the audience. 
Great, thank you. Um, and in your workshop, you'll discuss the latest methods and technologies available to communication professionals. How easy would it be to implement these tools into their current job? Well, that's a great question because really lots of us, when we look at technology, the first thing we think about is that complexity, right? We need a Twitter strategy. We need a mobile strategy. We need an internet strategy. We need a video strategy. And it can get really crazy in our minds and say, I need to do all this stuff. And what that does a lot of times, it turns into sort of analysis paralysis. What I'm looking at in this workshop is a way to leverage a lot of the personal productivity technologies that are available today, both services and tools, lots of which are free and think about a process optimization approach for your personal productivity. That means anyone can probably find, after a little bit of planning and the concepts I put together in the workshop, another hour in their week, another two hours in their week, or a way to streamline a process to really find some efficiencies at either little or no cost, other than really thinking about systematically what they do and how they can take advantage of some of these things that I'll bring forward in the course. I think that every communicator with every budget, every working style, and every uh, constraint in terms of organizational security or organizational process will find something in the organization that they can do day one or week one that will at least gain them some time back in their schedule and give them some new opportunities they hadn't considered before. Okay, well, Jeff, thank you again for joining us on this episode of CW Live. And to our viewers, you can learn more about his Corporate Communicators uh, Communications Workshop by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Thanks again.